What's up friends and welcome back to my channel. So this is probably a weird way to start a video, but here it goes. I've got a problem, a big data problem. Over the past few years, I've been collecting a ton of health data on myself from food to fitness and of course, sleep. But all of this data is scattered all across my phone and I have to switch between apps to get a clear picture of my health each day. That is until now. With the new iOS 14 widgets, it now only takes seconds for me to look at all my data straight from my home screen. And so in this video, I'll show you what my dashboard looks like, where the data is coming from, and how you can set this up for yourself. So if you have an iPhone and you want a new way to review your stats, this is the video for you. But first, if you're new here, welcome. My mission is to help you achieve success without sacrificing your health or happiness. I do product reviews weekly, so if you're into this, click that subscribe button and join the Type A tribe. So let's kick things off with a quick preview of what my dashboard actually looks like. As you'll see here, I've created a dedicated fitness page, a page for sleep and mindfulness, and then one for nutrition. Also, you'll wanna make sure that you've updated to the latest version of iOS 14 to be able to do this. And we'll get to how I created this in just a sec. But before I do, the first thing you'll wanna do is take an inventory of all of the apps that you use to track your health stuff. So for me, I'm using the Aura Ring to track my sleep data, my Fitness Pal to track macros, U8 to track meals, Zero for fasting, Withings for my blood pressure, 10% Happier for meditation, and the Apple Watch for my fitness and health data. So as you can see, it is a lot to come through. But the great thing here is that most of these popular third-party apps will sync up to Apple Health. So step one is super simple. You just wanna get all that data into Apple Health. So you're gonna open up your settings and enable that connection. Now for step two, you're gonna to wanna to download the Health View app on the App Store. It's less than five bucks for an entire year, which is a hell of a deal in my opinion. Now from here, you're gonna to wanna to connect your Apple Health to the Health View app and make sure to turn all categories on in the settings section of your phone. And finally, before we start getting fancy with those widgets, you'll wanna curate what data you'll be looking at by opening up what's called the data sets section of the Health View app and then toggling your stats on and off. And don't worry guys, I will list out all of this information in great detail in the description below if you wanna follow along after the video. So now we are ready to build our health dashboards and this is really where the customization part is totally up to you. Now I prefer separating out my fitness, my nutrition, and my mindfulness data, but honestly, have fun with it. You can design it however you like using whatever data sources you have to work with. So let's begin with fitness. So for my fitness dashboard, I started out by adding one of the pre-built widgets from HealthView. As you'll see here, there are a bunch to choose from and you can customize all of them. After you make your selection, you drag it to an empty page and then start editing. So you can customize your set using pretty much any of the data that you toggled on. And then you can even change the color of the box under the theme section. So as you'll see here, I chose steps, distance, and flights climbed to display at the top. I then added a second widget. And this time I used Apple's proprietary fitness widget to display my move, exercise, and stand stats. And then I followed that up with another health view widget to show me things like heart rate, HRV, and VO2 max. So as you can see, there is a lot to pick and choose from. But for me, this really gives me a comprehensive picture of what my health stats look like every single day. Now onto my sleep and mindfulness page. And as you'll see here, I have a health view widget that shows me my sleep data, blood pressure, and mindful minutes. So all the sleep data here is coming from my Aura Ring. Now, unfortunately, it only shows you your total sleep time. There really is no way to bring in those deep sleep or REM stats, but I'm sure it's only a matter of time before Aura comes up with their own widget. But for now, I've included a shortcut to the Aura app so I can take a look at all of my full stats. And if you wanna learn more on how to create these custom shortcuts, I'll include a link in the description below to my minimalist iPhone setup so you can go check that out. I also added blood pressure here. So that is actually tied to my Withings blood pressure monitor. And so the stat that I'm gonna see here is whatever my latest blood pressure reading was. And then to wrap up this section, I included what's called mindful minutes. So this is pulling data from both the Aura moment feature 
as well as the 10% Happier Meditation app. So if I noticed that these stats are low for the day, I added some complimentary shortcuts to some meditation apps and my gratitude journal. And a really nice feature here is this stacking widget. So underneath this health view triplet, you'll find another widget that displays my total screen time for the day. I think you can stack like four or five widgets here. So I encourage you guys to get creative and you can even post your screenshots of your health dashboard to Twitter or Instagram and tag me at Katie type A. And finally, we come to my nutrition powerhouse. And I've got to admit guys, I'm pretty proud of this one. And as you'll see at the top here, this is the real reason I bought the Health View app to begin with. Who doesn't want to see all their nutrition information laid out like the Brady Bunch square? But in all seriousness, I'm able to customize this grid to include everything from my basic macros to my caffeine and hydration levels. And all of this data is pulling straight from my fitness pal and my hydration app. And this is a great way to get a quick download on whether you're drinking too much coffee or if you're getting enough protein each day. So you can hopefully make better health decisions as a result. And since both Zero and U8 have their own widgets, I just added those in at the bottom to see my fasting window and the last meal I just ate. Now my fiance wanted to totally streamline his dashboard and make it super easy to just look at one view. So this is what his looks like. And again, all of these stacks are totally customizable. So I encourage you guys to get creative and most importantly, figure out the metrics that matter most to you. At the end of the day, you're tracking your health markers for a reason. And so analyzing your data shouldn't be a burden. So I hope you found this video useful if you've been looking to streamline this kind of stuff. And I am so excited to see what you guys do with your own data dashboards. So send me some screenshots and I will give you some love on my Instagram at Katie Type A. And next week, I will be bringing you my full review of the Biomat and how it compares to grounding. I had to postpone this week because I wanted to compile a little bit more data for you guys. And I also had to do some fact checking on the company, but keep it locked in here next week. I will be bringing you that full review. And thanks again so much for watching if you learned something, if you like this video, please make sure to give it a big thumbs up. And if you're not already subscribed, make sure to click that subscribe button and hit that notification bell. So you get notified each week when I drop a new video. And until then, I cannot wait to catch you on the next